My name is uh, Samuel Wong. I'm from Singapore um, and I've been in the IT sector for most part of my career and mainly it's all in the in IT infrastructure areas and that was when uh, uh, you know opportunity came for me to come into the IT security space uh, in the last uh, five years or so uh, but um, as you previously heard I had a total of about 30 years uh, working experience uh, some of it in, uh, in fact, all of it was in, in IT sector, uh, uh, some of it in healthcare and some of it uh, elsewhere, but majority of it was in healthcare. Um, well, I work for a company called the Integrated Health Information Systems, or IHIS for short, um, and it provides um, uh, IT services for the whole public healthcare sector in Singapore. Well, um, I'm currently a CISO and I'm serving I'm supporting a healthcare cluster uh, with a team of about four and we cover a whole group of hospitals, polyclinics and specialist uh, centres as well. So um, this is my current role. Um, uh, it's fairly large uh, considering uh, the acute hospitals that we uh, cover. Uh, before I came into this, I was previous, previously covering uh, infrastructure services. Uh, under Group Information uh, Security, uh, a Group Information uh, Office, a CIO office, and um, that was the most. And at that point in time, I was the most appropriate person in the CIO office uh, to to participate in uh, in a cyber uh, TTX uh, tabletop exercise. Uh, before that, before then, they didn't have any full time uh, CISO position. Uh, so subsequent to that, um, I I thought yes, you know. This was quite interesting and when the organization called for a full-time CISO, I, I was just the most obvious person to take up the role uh, full-time and that was when I decided to uh, join up uh, with the CCSO uh, program. Well, I'd say it's made me more aware, much, much more aware of the scope and breadth of the role. Um, uh, and how uh, I should interact with uh, all the other parts of the organization. Um, also, it's uh, equipped me with a lot of how to deal with all the various situations I might find uh, as I as I uh, work with the with the organization and the hospital uh, management. And and of course, I would have to say it's not every information and tip was was uh, spot on right uh, but in general it allowed me to work through uh, the thought processes and and how um, uh, i would come to a, a solution right and it certainly helps uh, in coping with all the various situations that i encountered uh, in, in my work a lot of the other industry certifications focus on very hard skills uh, how do you do this? How do you do that? Uh, but I've, I found that in the C, uh, CISO uh, program, it, it actually helps us to think about and prepare us for uh, um, the view of cybersecurity, not from the security itself, but from the organizational alignment perspective. And, and all these, um, uh, and how all these cybersecurity measures actually uh, impact an organization. Uh, and all the organizational in, uh, objectives, you know, uh, we have to understand that and then we have to take all of that into account when we plan out uh, what our cybersecurity program is. Um, and also not to mention, you know, there's this financial impact and cost versus effect uh, when we consider the cybersecurity program and, and, the, and the recommendations that we make. So I think this is really one of the key differences uh, in, in, in this uh, particular program. For me, the greatest impact was, was the aspect of greater recognition. Um, uh, you know, there are, there are many IT specialists in the many fields uh, that you can specialize in in IT that, that give you, you know, great promotional uh, prospects and all that. But, you know, all these other aspects are uh, quite common with other uh, certifications. But for the CISO, I think it's quite unique in its role. Uh, and, and, and all these uh, 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 uniqueness that the CISO can bring actually makes us rather prominent in an organization. And in these times where cybersecurity has gained so much prominence, right, I think I think CISO role is really something that uh, allows us to be recognized in an organization.
I think the way the course is structured, all five domains are, are, are important. Uh, they cover all the, the, govern, the, the governance aspects, all the way to uh, specific things, uh, skill sets that you're looking for uh, in, 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 uh, when, you're, when you're looking at security solutions, for example, right? And uh, even down to things like access control. But uh, what I find uh, interesting in this is that, uh, in fact, the, the most impactful thing for me was really that there's a lot of people management involved. There's this sense of understanding uh, of the stakeholders, uh, how you would actually uh, address their concerns, right? And, and communicating clearly what the risks are, uh, managing your stakeholder expectations, uh, this aspect of change management, how do you influence change, right? And making uh, people uh, change what was a, was a bad way of doing things into a good way of doing things, resolving uh, uh, team issues, resolving uh, organizational issues and, and managing the constraints. I think that was uh, uh, the interesting aspect for me. I, I would have to say it was the governance, risk and compliance aspect uh, uh, for me. I mean, basically because that was the most foreign subject to me. Uh, I hadn't much experience in those areas before I took up CISOLO, so that was for me the most uh, interesting, significant learning for me. I might have to say it's domain three, uh, you know, the, the security program management and, uh, and operations. Uh, I think largely because it didn't focus on hard skills. Uh, it, it, it triggered us to think uh, a lot more on like problem solving, strategizing, planning, um, and working around the, the problems to, to create uh, uh, solutions. Um, and if I remember correctly, this was one modules that had a role play as well. And at least it was for our class. That was, and I think that was the most interesting uh, aspect of the, of the course. Yeah, uh, uh, un undoubtedly, yes, I would. Uh, uh, and in fact, I have uh, I have uh, uh, got a couple of colleagues to uh, come on the program as well. Yeah.